set schedule for it. 0900 hours uh, tomorrow. That's not going to work, Walter. Why? Fredo and I are going to be going over the lunar surface experiments tomorrow, and Ken's going to be back in the simulator. We're going to be going over the flight plan tonight as well. You better pay a visit to this beautiful machine after you're hard down. Right. Thanks. Jim, we've got a problem. I just got some blood work back from the lab. Charlie Duke has the measles. So we need a new backup. You've all been exposed to it. Well, I've had the measles. Ken Mattingly hasn't. You, you want to break up my crew two days before the launch? When we can predict each other's moves, when we can read the, read the tone of each other's voices. Ken Mattingly will be getting seriously ill precisely when you and Hayes will be ascending from the lunar surface to rendezvous with him. Jim, that's a lousy time for a fever. Uh, now, now look, Jack Swigert has been out of the loop for weeks. He's fully qualified to fly this mission. He's a fine pilot, but when was the last time he was in a simulator? I'm sorry, Jim, I understand how you feel. Now, we can do one of two things here. We can either scrub Mattingly and go with Swigert, or we can bump all three of you to a later mission. I've trained for the Fraumora Highlands. And this is Flight Surgeon Horse, Deke. Jim, if you hold out for Ken, you will not be on Apollo 13. It's your decision. Well, I, uh... Damn. The medical guys. I had a feeling when they started doing all the blood tests that, uh... I mean, I know it's their ass if I get sick up there, but I mean, Jesus! Swigert, he'll he'll be fine. He's uh, he's strong. It'll be a hell of a mission, one for the books. You sure about this, Jim? I mean, why don't I go upstairs and talk to Deke? I'm sure, we can work this out. This was my call. Must have been a tough one. Look, I don't have the measles. I'm not going to get the measles. Ken, wait up. <laughs> 